Hey guys, it's Frank with Anabolic Outlaws, A Nutrition, and today I just want to set the record straight for the differences between pro hormones and andros and how they work in the body versus steroids, okay? Um, first thing I want to say is this, as I've mentioned in my other videos, steroids and uh, pro hormones are derived from the exact same place. They're both derived from soy and yams, all right? The different hormones that are harvested from those to, I guess, soy plants and yams um, are actually, they're the, they're, they're the basically the raw form that you can actually get these different hormones. And that's where it all starts and stops with soy and yams, all right? For it, there is a compound called dihydroepiandrosterone, all right? That is a, a hormone that is in your body that is the basically the meat and potatoes of every pro hormone out there in the industry today. Um, Back in the day, they only had a very raw, I guess a very raw formulation of it. And what it would do is it would increase the hormones in, in your body, every single hormone in your body, right? Testosterone would be increased, progesterone would be increased, along with estrogen and all the other different hormones in your body. There's hundreds of them, okay? Which is obviously, it's, it's a good effect, but it's not really the best effect. So what happened was the um, supplement industry got smart after the uh, Designer Steroid Control Act, which basically started picking out all the different steroids that were being sold as supplements. Um, they, they went in there and they basically pulled them because those, by the way guys, back in, prior to 2014, those weren't pro-hormones. Those were actually steroids that weren't listed and they were sold in the gray area. Now that um, you can only sell quote unquote supplements, um, epi, dihydroepiandrosterone is considered a supplement. I guess it's because it's derived from soy and yams. Same way testosterone is. So different isomers have been created. That's how you keep seeing all these different products. Like Epidrol has a different isomer than oxyandro. Finovar has a different isomer than super tedrol and MD1. They're all different. Just like you see all those different steroids out there that are, I mean, they're similar, like name a few progesterones off the top of my head, like DECA, and Equipoise, similar, but they're not the same. Same thing with Trenbolone, that's another progesterone. It's not the same, it gives a different effect the same way these products do. Um, the major difference is this, obviously, if you're someone who's going for the Mr. Olympia and you know, you've made up your mind, you wanna take steroids and you really don't really care about anything other than just being the best, then go ahead and take them. Um, this stuff right here is ideal for someone who wants to kinda of play it, I'd say on the gray side of things, meaning you can still have a drink on Friday, but you're definitely gonna get some results in the gym. Are you gonna get the same kind of results that you would get taking a full-blown cycle of steroids? Well, the answer to that's no. But you are going to be able to benefit from the fact that it's not going to be as hard on your liver and you're not going to have to worry about the side effects as much on top of it being legal and you don't need a prescription for this stuff. Again, there's also that other type of customer that likes to incorporate pro-hormones with their testosterone therapy. I'm seeing a lot of people jump on that bandwagon. And the reason for that is this. Obviously, testosterone, raw testosterone is a really, really kick-ass thing to supplement if you can get your hands on it. But if you want to take it a step further, you can incorporate different andro products with it. So it would basically be like avoiding those harsh oral compounds that a lot of people don't like to take. Because believe it or not, as I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, those oral compounds are pretty hard on your liver and they can be extremely androgenic. And believe it or not, well, as I'm sure you already know, there's a lot of different um, DHT side effects that cannot be blocked with finasteride or a DHT blocker when you're taking those compounds. So in a nutshell, these products right here have basically been generated from that hormone that's naturally produced in your body, dihydroepiandrosterone, okay? That's why you hear a lot of people refer to these products as andro products. That's, the, that's basically the window that lets these different products in. I don't know how long they're gonna be legal because again, you know, no one ever knew how long the other products would be banned or when they were gonna take them off the market. But as of right now, they are legal um, because they are natural occurring in your body and it is derived from yams and soy. Again, they could change the laws down the road, but 
the, the, the number one question that I hear from people is what is the difference is it, well, what should I see as far as a comparison between the two? Well, given if you're taking the same dosage that you're taking of this stuff, I'd, I'd be, I'd feel confident in saying you're going to get about 65% of what you would get on a regular steroid cycle with a moderate dose. Okay. It's not like somebody taking, you know, a gram of testosterone a week. But someone who's taking a mild or a moderate, mild dose of testosterone, um, you'd see about 65% of what you would see with that with these products. Again, the more you take, obviously, the more it's gonna affect your body, just like it would if you were taking a regular steroid. You would see different effects from different compounds, and we're gonna keep busting our ass in order to come up with different formulas that are going to affect you even better. Um, that's the great part about science is people keep learning more and stuff keeps getting better like the cars you see on the streets Every year there's something new out there that's bigger better and better and we hope the industry keeps doing that You can get a lot of these awesome compounds not just from my company um, But there are different supplement companies out there that do have badass products. They do work um, because science backs them up and anybody who says that they don't quote unquote work at all, it's not the problem that the, pro the supplements are the ones that aren't working. It's the person who's taking them that's obviously not working because you will, if, if you're a human being, you will see an effect on this stuff. Again, not to the extent of a regular steroid, but you're definitely going to see a bump when you're on them. Have a good one, guys. Ladies.